Hello, and thank you for choosing Komatsu products. The purpose of this video is to illustrate the functionality of the Komatsu D65-18 and D85-18 machine monitor. So let's get started. The Komatsu D65-18 and D85-18 use a high resolution machine monitor that allows the operator and service personnel to access machine settings and information by using the function switches. This monitor incorporates an eco gauge, service meter display, fuel consumption display, diesel exhaust fluid level, and the travel speed preset gear shift display. The rear view camera can also be displayed through this monitor. With the key on, the machine monitor allows the operator to observe several gauges. The monitor contains the coolant temperature gauge, powertrain oil temperature gauge, hydraulic oil temperature gauge, fuel level gauge, and the multi gauge. The multi gauge can be customized by the operator. The operator can customize this multi gauge display by using the F2 function switch. The options available in the multi gauge include engine speed, travel speed, work equipment pump pressure, engine oil pressure, battery voltage, drawbar pull, load graph, pitch graph, and clock display. By pressing the F2 switch, the multi-gauge can be customized. By pressing the F3 switch, the rear view camera can be viewed. By pressing the F4 switch, the service meter display can read the current time. The F5 switch will be functional when eco guidance messages are available or abnormality codes are detected. By pressing the F6 switch, the operator's menu can be accessed. The operator's menu has seven tabs. These tabs can be accessed by using the F1 or F2 switch to scroll through each tab. The F3 and F4 switch allow the user to scroll vertically through each selection. The F5 switch allows the user to return to the previous screen, and the F6 switch will select the highlighted item. From left to right, these tabs are Energy Saving Guidance, Machine Setting, After Treatment Devices Regeneration, Selective Catalytic Reduction or SCR Information, Maintenance, Monitor Setting, and the Message tab. Let's discuss the options available in these tabs. The Energy Saving Guidance tab includes four items. To view the operation record screen, highlight operation records. The default measurement is one day measurement. However, a split time can be selected. If the split time measurement is selected, the data is cleared and measurement starts when the operator starts to split time. The Eco Guidance record screen displays the number of times each Eco Guidance message has been displayed. This screen is displayed in one day values or split time values and indicates the number of times the message was displayed. The average fuel consumption record menu item will display fuel consumption in two graph forms, an hourly average over the last 12 hours or a daily display over the last seven days. The graph can be cleared and reset. The configurations menu will allow the operator to configure all the data displayed on the energy savings guidance tab. The options available are the average fuel consumption display, the eco gauge display, the eco guidance display, and the eco guidance on or off at key off. The machine setting tab contains the fan reverse function and the auto idle shutdown. The auto idle stop timer setting can be set to a specific time to turn off the engine when the idle time reaches a set point. The amount of idle time allowed can be set by selecting auto idle stop time from the machine setting screen and selecting one of the preset times. The after treatment devices regeneration tab allows the operator to control functions of the Komatsu diesel particulate filter regeneration process. This tab allows the operator to disable the regeneration process or initiate a manual stationary regeneration. Soot level can also be monitored from this screen. If the operator ignores the request for regeneration, the soot levels will rise and eventually cause the machine's performance to be limited. The instructions box will display steps for the operator to follow to initiate regeneration. 
The Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR, information tab allows the operator to view the diesel exhaust fluid level and receive information regarding the SCR system performance. The Maintenance tab will display the machine maintenance items and the interval information. There are two columns indicating what the interval is and the hours remaining until maintenance will be required. If a maintenance item is within 30 hours of the interval time, the maintenance lamp will appear on the main monitor screen. The maintenance lamp will be yellow and the icon over the F6 function switch will become yellow. The maintenance screen will be displayed if the F6 switch is pressed. If the item is within the 30 hour service interval window, the remaining time will be highlighted in yellow. The monitor setting tab will display adjustments for the monitor, including screen adjustments. The camera screen adjustments include brightness, camera view, and guidelines. The camera view mode provides two selections. The normal view is the default camera view. The reverse synchronization will activate the camera view when the direction lever is shifted to reverse. The guideline view can be turned on and off. The clock adjustment allows the operator to change five settings related to the monitor clock. The language menu provides 27 possible language options for the monitor panel. This concludes the monitor functionality video for the Komatsu D65-18 and D85-18 dozer. If you would like more information regarding this product, please contact your local sales representative or visit KamatsuAmerica.com. Thank you for choosing Kamatsu products.